Act with Kunal Botra, Dr. C.K. Narayan, as well as Amit Harchekar, as always. Good morning, gentlemen. And what happened yesterday, Kunal? Because we did see a steep crack in uh, the markets as we ended at the day's low. And share with us some of your top trading recommendations. Good morning, Avan. Good morning, everyone. Yes, uh, you know, it, I think yesterday's index reactions took a lot of short-term traders by a bit of surprise because the bank nifty was... Uh, you know, floating up pretty well in the last couple of days. We had almost breached that 31,000 mark as well on the bank nifty and, uh, you know, the momentum seems to be in favor of more of continuation. But yesterday's uh, you know, correction came as a bit of a blip. Now, uh, as I was mentioning yesterday that, uh, you know, we need to watch the open interest data for uh, the bank nifty futures and then probably get a more better outlook. So, you know, the, the data yesterday indicates that the nifty, uh, you know, futures saw a bit of, uh, you know, short, short uh, you know, covering. Uh, or where you saw, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, closing of short positions, where the open interest increased by almost 6,000 contracts, which was unlike, uh, you know, what you've seen the last couple of days, and the bank Nifty open interest got reduced by almost 8,000 to 9,000 contracts uh, on the future side. So that generally indicates that that was more long and winding. So now, when I look at the data and uh, you know uh, anticipate that now, I think uh, we should be playing in for a short-term bounce on both the indices, especially Nifty and Bank Nifty. And I believe in that regards, I would suggest two more of buy calls today. Hence, a contra-buy approach on many of the stocks. The first one is upon Bajaj Auto. The stock closed, uh, you know, uh, very close to its support levels uh, in the last couple of days as well. It's gone through a meager time correction rather than more of a major price correction, which I think is a positive sign for Bajaj Auto. Hence, I would recommend a buy with a target of almost 30 to 50, stop loss at 31.75. ITC, the stock uh, has been correcting in the last couple of days. But, uh, you know, the uh, early chart indicators have gotten back into an extremely oversold territory. Hence, a chance of a, you know, a decent bounce on ITC from current levels could not be ruled out. The stock is trading at 253-odd. I believe with a risk reward of almost 1 is to 2, traders could look at a buy. Targets to be kept at around that 260 mark and stop us at 250. Okay, so despite yesterday's action, Kunal believes that there is a bounce back on the cards. Getting a move on then, Amit, share with us, what are your top trades this morning? Uh, I have a two sell recommendation. Uh, my first recommendation would be going short on Hero Motocock futures. Here the rationale is uh, the stock has already given a breakdown from a head and shoulder top. Plus it, it forms a part of a uh, nifty consumption index where we have seen a three black crows pattern on the daily chart. That is giving you a clear reversal signals. Apart from that, if you see from the averages perspective, the 50 DMA has crossed below the 200 DMA, which has led to a, a death cross pattern, which is again a very strong signal. And apart from that, even on a weekly basis, the stock has given a bearish engulfing pattern uh, in the previous week. So we believe this stock is poised for a major decline from here on. We are expecting a minimum target of 2475, which could even extend to 2300. However, the stop loss, which turns out to be the neckline of head and shoulder, that turns out to be at 2650. Our second uh, short recommendation would be going short on LNT futures. Here uh, we see the stock has closed below 200 DMA after 20th September. We think that is a clear sign of a major trend reversal. Apart from that, uh, the, the levels of uh, 1420, 1440 turned out to be a very strong support earlier, which turned out to be the upthrust pattern, uh, upthrust levels of the bullish uh, of the running flag pattern. So we believe this running flag has got negated, and we believe there is a more downside scope. Uh, the immediate target we are looking would be at around 13.20 and if that gets violated, even 1250 is not ruled out. We are recommending a stop loss of 14.40 on a closing basis because we think that turns out to be important trend reversal point. Short selling candidates, that's Amit's strategy. Dr. Nara, and which side are you veering toward? Uh, is it going to be some buy calls or do you have a sell recommendation? Good morning, Avan. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, I am uh, pitching my tent on the bullish side for today and coming up with uh, two buy calls. I do believe that uh, the kind of uh, sell-off that we saw yesterday got a lot of weak hands out of the picture and therefore the market might be quite well liquidated by now and in the absence of any overt uh, uh, adverse news, I don't think there, sh there should be too many takers for the downside yet. Yes, they, you know, there may be a slight downward drift but that will all bring indices and stocks into support zones from where we can attempt buys. So the two buys I have for today are from large cap space. First up, Britannia, which I think had a super outing yesterday, starting from a lower level and finishing near the top, despite the fact that the market went the other way yesterday. So Britannia is a buy with about a 30 rupees stop loss from your entry price, and we can look for a price target, which should be, say, somewhere around 33, 3310, 33. 20 levels. Uh, the second buy I have 
is TCS. Uh, I think whenever the market gets into a little bit of uh, an iffy situation, IT and particularly IT leaders are uh, areas where people do flock to. We saw that uh, happening in TCS <coughs> yesterday already. And uh, again, uh, the stock had a top finish and I do believe that momentum would spill over into today. And uh, stock is around 2180 by with about a 20 point stop loss. Uh, we can look for 30, 40 rupees as the likely gain for